Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to restore your Acer laptop to factory settings on your Windows computer. So this should be hopefully a pretty straightforward tutorial and we're going to jump right into it. One quick note, I would highly suggest you create a backup of any important files or documents you want to have saved because this will do a complete clean install of your operating system, at least the method we're going to be going through in this tutorial. So we're going to jump into it, like I said, by opening up the Start menu by left clicking on it one time. And into the Start menu, now you want to type in Settings, or you could left click on the little gear icon left here, whichever you prefer. And now underneath Settings, just want to left click on the Settings button one time. Now you want to scroll down until you get to the area that says Update and Security, the Update and Security tile, just left click on that one time. And now you want to go down and left click on where it says on the left side here, go underneath Recovery. So just left click on that one time. And now where it says underneath Recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. This lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them. And then reinstall as Windows. Left click on Get Started. We're going to have a few prompts we're going to go through here first prompt we're going to have is going to be to choose an option. The first option says keep my files and then the second option is to remove everything. Keeping your files will remove apps and settings but will keep some personal files. Again, I really wouldn't necessarily trust this to keep exactly what you think it's going to keep. I would still highly suggest backing up files if you choose to go that method. However, the route we're going to follow is going to be remove everything which remove all your personal files, apps, and settings. So I'm going to left click on that. Then it's going to ask if you want to clean the drives as well. If you're going to be donating the computer, I'd recommend selecting Remove Files and Clean the Drive. This will take longer. However, for most people, the first option to just remove my files will be sufficient. So that's the one we're going to select for this tutorial here. And we will have one final confirmation here. It will say ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to begin. This will take some time so please be patient.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here, it should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Hello everybody, I'm back. So it looks like our Acer laptop or computer has been restored back to factory settings. So feel free to put any programs back in your computer you had to remove during the factory reset process, and you should be good to go. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.